What's up everyone? Finally got on the bike again. It's been so freaking hot lately it's not even enjoyable riding. But uh, we got out a little bit earlier today so uh, it's not too bad. But as you can see we got the little Riker out today. My wife's uh, second real ride on this thing so we're we're taking short little rides to kind of break her in or get her used to this thing so we don't want to do anything crazy. We're going to take a bunch of back roads and head on up to a uh, place called Camp Holly Fish Camp. Um, for what I understand, they just started serving food and it's supposed to be pretty good. So we're going to have lunch there and then uh, we'll see where it takes us. So ride along. Yeah, we're actually riding through a place right here where uh, we ride our ATVs. Um, that's my other channel. You can check that out. It's called Dirt Flirts on YouTube. And actually it's going to be a full pack day today because after we get done with lunch here, we are going to drop the bikes off, grab the ATVs, and come out here and do some riding. So check out that channel too. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, going to be a good day. The Riker looks good. Yeah, guys, we'll get a little more riding in once this weather starts to cool down a little bit. Like I was saying, today is really not too bad for being, uh, shoot, I think it's September 1st. Yeah, so we're in the hottest months here. But uh, once it starts cooling down, I'm uh, in the midst of making plans for a little, um, I don't know, an overnight bike trip. It'll be me and my wife just on the uh, road glide. I'm thinking maybe Savannah, something like that. So there should be some, some pretty good videos coming up, some different stuff on it. And like I said, we got that trailer. That thing's all fixed up now, ready to go. So that's going to be hauling these two bikes up to North Carolina. And uh, yeah, we're really stoked about that. That's going to be awesome. Hell yeah! Yeah, this is a really a brand new channel. So um, we really need your help on getting subscribers. So it doesn't take much. It's free. Just hit that subscribe button. That way I can keep these videos going. Otherwise, it's really not worth it. Yeah, I think she's doing pretty good on this thing, guys, for the second ride. What do you think? I installed the, uh, so far the mods we have on it right now are just the uh, the windshield. And I got one of those back off brake light kits for her. And uh, you can get that at slingmods.com. They got a lot of good stuff on there. And what else? Uh, I added a little uh, shift lever to the forward reverse uh, shifter because it was so hard for her to reach. So, you know, gave her like another six, seven inches. So she can just pull on that and then kick it to go back into forward. Works pretty good. I know she wants some new mirrors. Those are pretty much garbage on there. And probably a new seat because that's garbage too. So, looks like more sling mod stuff to me. <laughs> cool little machine though. Yeah, the back off brake lights um, are really cool. I got those on a Harley too, of course, but um, you'll see when she hits her brakes, they just flash more, a little more attention for the people to behind her. Real good item for real cheap. Should see it now. No, she didn't need her brakes there, okay. And she's gonna smoke the stop sign. <laughs> It says it's 88 degrees out, man. It doesn't feel like it. It's pretty nice in the wind. Hell yeah. Yeah, I can tell she's feeling more and more comfortable in that little Riker. She's uh, 
doing real good on it. I knew she would because we ride ATVs and she just goes ape shit. She rides that thing like a champ, so you'll see if you check out that channel. Again, that was Dirt Flirts. Got a couple channels on here. I got also a uh, music channel, Musician. I got my own band. Um, that site is called Dan Mahoney's Vibe Town Band. And uh, it's usually all the backing music for these videos. So if you like that, you can check that out too. Yeah, a bunch of shameless plugs here. <laughs> Anyway, we're in uh, West Palm Bay, Florida right now. We're heading up to Melbourne uh, to hit the Camp Holly. Yeah, check out our back off brake lights here. Signal and brakes. Just some extra flashing, draw some attention to the people behind us. You know how that goes. Can't be too safe. Yeah, guys, we're coming off the uh, Heritage Parkway in West Palm Bay right now, hitting 192 in Melbourne. And uh, Camp Holly's just a little jump right up the street here, so take you guys in there. We'll get some lunch, show you around the place. It's pretty cool. Good spot. Got a nice bandstand. My band used to play there back in the day. It's going back to like 2010. But uh, they did a lot of work on the place and really fixed it up quite a bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why my legs are sandblasted right now. Yeah. After you. Love guys that don't wave when you ride. Too cool to wave, man. Too cool to wave. <laughs> Even though uh, we're all out here together risking our lives. I think there'd still be a brotherhood, but I guess that's going away. I don't care. I still wave. Yeah, we're going 65 right now, and that little Riker is just pumping along with no problem, man. It's a 600. Apparently, that thing will fly. It's really quick off the line, too. A lot of fun to ride. And she's doing just fine on it. Polly's just up over this bridge. Yeah, they got airboat rides and stuff here too if you're ever in the area. Check them out. <laughs> Lean it. Lean it into that bike. <laughs> Too cool.
I like this new spot. So? This needs to come up? Yep. Because I can't even see. Fucking, you know, my glasses are Yep, that's buffeting. That's it. How's that throttle boss treating you? Um, good. I just have to, I think I'm just, um, uh, right now all I've been doing today since I figured out this and this was trying to practice on keeping my hand at one speed. You know, okay. With my cup draw. That way it's not up and down three or four miles an hour. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm nail that because that drives you guys crazy when Doug and everybody. Oh, like, yeah. We're doing it. Well, you're going to. You're going to find your sweet spot, you know what I mean? Yeah. It takes a while. Okay. Yeah. How's the seat with that little uh, thing on there? Good, good. It'll hold me. I definitely want to get a new seat. Okay. Yeah. It's good. You know me. I'm pretty good. Well, you did great. You killed it. Did I? Yeah. Really? No way. What do you mean? Like, what were you looking for? Just confident. You look confident. It looks good. Really? Yeah. Okay. we got to get in. Oh. Alright, guys. So, yeah, so this is Camp Holly. I'll take you on a quick little tour of the place. Gift shop, kitchen. <laughs> you hungry? Oh, Holy um, cow. I know. It's beautiful. Oh, dude, this, this place is completely redone. It used to be the floors were so natural and rustic you couldn't even walk on them. They were all crooked and the boards are cracking. Wow. Yeah, for you guys that live here and have been here, man, check this out. It's crazy. Beautiful job. So, first impressions. On what? The Riker. The Riker? Yeah. I love it. Good and bad. Good. I, the, the only thing that was bad was the buffering. You can fix that with a windshield. Okay, buffering is going to be fixed. Your uh, throttle you're getting in control of. The seat's just a piece of shit. It's too hard. It's I know, like it's just a piece, piece of rubber. That's all yeah. it is. But you, help, you gave me your temporary thing to fix yep. it. So I can afford to buy a new seat. Yeah, guys, I bought a uh, sheepskin gel pack uh, pad for... We did a trip to Sturgis. It was a 6,000 mile round trip. And saved my ass. I mean, we were, we were on a gold wing. And, uh, you know, thank God I was on that bike for that many miles. It was perfect. And especially with that gel pack, we had actually one guy, he got a case of bad monkey butt. And I uh, had to get him some gel and stuff. His ass was. Yeah, he was actually chapped up and was it was pretty bad. But uh, we had no issue. Thank you, Bud Light. Of course. Yeah, thank you. All right, we're gonna eat and we'll get back with you. All right, guys, as you can see, um, while we're in there eating, a couple storms are heading in this way. Wasn't supposed to rain at all, but you know how that goes. So we're gonna wait these out because they look pretty gnarly. There's one out the east, one to the south, and it looks like they're gonna blow through pretty quick. But I thought I'd give you a glimpse of what's going on up top here. It's pretty nice out here. I don't know what these dudes are doing here. They're kind of big pumping machines. I don't know. Huh. Anyway, having one more beer while these rain blows over, and then we'll hit the road again. Well, guys, we got tired of waiting. So um, we're riding in the rain right now. Not too bad, man. It's actually nice and cooling. So you can see there's one storm down that way, which we're heading that way. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, so hang in there. Oh, 
Oh, cool, man. Nice little out of the way place. This is pretty far out, man. Oh, check this place out. This is cool. Watch for a motorcycle sign. Can't be all that bad, huh? Wow, this is nice. Check it out, motorcycle parking. This is cool. Motorcycle parking, I like it. Holy cow. Insane. Look at that smoker, y'all. That's awesome. Hey, this place looks pretty good. All right, guys, appreciate you riding along. We got to stop and get some gas here, and uh, looks like we're going to head into that rain. So, just wanted to thank you guys for uh, subscribing, and uh, we'll catch you on the next ride. Not sure where it's going to be, but we've taken you along, all right? So, we'll see you then. See ya!